Just be glad for all you have that's in today. Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to episode one of Netflix's Carmen Sandiego. Um, so yeah, just as a note, I am not completely blind to the concept of Carmen Sandiego. I have played the games and watched the series when I was a kid and stuff, and I always enjoyed it. I, it, it was a big part of my childhood, and it, it was always fun to watch and try to, uh, catch Carmen San Diego basically um, and, and it was always a good way to kind of learn about uh, different places and whatnot it, it was very uh, educational in a way um, now this new series is is going kind of the same way as other reboots like She-Ra where it's actually delivering more of a story based uh, focus where the story and the characters are going to be a bigger focus and are going to be uh, changed around a little bit to encompass a more uh, modern take on it. Um, I have seen the trailer, so I do know the basic premise. Um, Carmen Sandiego apparently goes to this school to train uh, thieves and criminals and stuff. Um, but her goal is to steal from other thieves. Um, she's voiced by Gina Rodriguez, um, and also in this is Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things fame. Um, he plays, uh, I believe the character's name is Player, who is, uh, basically Carmen's assistant, uh, kind of like her oracle, if you know Batman lore. <laughs> um, and, and then there's a cop as well, I don't know who voices him offhand. Um, or maybe some kind of like FBI guy or something I don't know I don't know like what exactly his role is um and just various other characters um from what I saw the art style is a little simplistic like not in not in like a uh a cartoon like like a modern cartoon way like with uh Gravity Falls or um Steven Universe or stuff not simplistic in that kind of way but more it's like there's not a lot of detail in it like they they have like some i guess more normal body shapes and sizes and stuff but there's from what i saw not a lot of detail in the actual colorations in the designs themselves everything seems very simple which i don't know how that how i'm gonna feel about that going in but we'll we'll see um I'm also wondering what they're going to do for the intro, because I doubt they're just going to do a uh, a simple remake of the uh, classic intro, especially if they're going for more of a story-based thing. Um, there was a song that played during the trailer, and that might be a new intro theme, but I don't know. Now here's a th another thing. The original was more educational and did try to teach the viewers about uh, like the different places they would go and stuff. I wonder if that is still going to be a factor in this at all, to any degree. Like are we still going to learn like uh, these facts about the places that uh, our characters visit? Um, because they could, I feel they could still work that stuff in if they did it right. Um, but I, I, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know where this is going to go. I don't know how good this is going to be, or even if it is going to be good. Um, I'm going to say right off the bat, just like with any show I react to, this is subject to being dropped if I don't like it. But I'm very much willing to give it a chance, and I'm excited to uh, see what it's got in store. And if it does end up being disappointing, then it ends up being disappointing. But at least I gave it a shot, right? Um, we're gonna find out, though. We're gonna see what it's like, and I'm glad to, uh, have you along for the ride. Um, I don't know how many episodes this is in total. I can check that real quick. Um, come on. Okay, it's not actually listing, like, episode one, so let me count these. Looks like there's nine. Looks like there's nine episodes, and the first two are actually a part one and part two. I wasn't, like, really paying attention to the titles. I just noticed that. Um, I would react to two, but um, 
I, I, I'm going to stick to one a week because of uh, just generally um, timing and everything. I, again, as I've said in the past, I want to try to keep uh, weekend reactions to one episode a week if I can. Um, with some exceptions here and there if I can do more at the time. But yeah, we're going to do one, uh, even though it's a two-parter, we're going to just do the first today. <laughs> um, plus, that'll leave on a good cliffhanger for next week. Um, if I do like it. And if it, it's just a good cliffhanger. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited, uh, and we're just going to get into this. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black, then fades back in... Everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts, and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we will begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. Okay, so this was a very good start to the series. Um, not amazing or anything, not like the best start to a series I've ever seen, but very good. Um, I was honestly worried going into this. I, I was worried that it was gonna, with, with the simplistic art style and everything, and the simplistic animation, and just everything, like, coming off of uh, this legacy that Carmen Sandiego kind of has built up throughout the years, I, I, I kind of assumed it wasn't going to be as good as it could be. Um, and the story seemed a little... I don't know, it's just, it didn't capture my interest as much. But, I can say without a doubt that this first episode kind of nulled those fears for me. Um, the uh, story is excellent. It's done really well, it's handled really well, and it makes Carmen a legitimately um, fascinating and likable character. To the point where she comes across as, well, just legitimately um, enthralling. You, you are instantly, like, hooked on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And there's a specific word I was trying to think of. I couldn't think of it. Um, and the other characters are interesting in their own rights. You get to see their interactions, how they uh, play, off of, of, uh, play off of each other and stuff. And even the teachers and instructors and stuff, you, you get, like, a kind of this personality from them. Um, when I saw the trailer and stuff, um, when I saw the, um, the Wonder Woman Coach Brunt or whatever her name was, um, I thought she was going to be this one character who was excessively tough and, like, super strict and, and the kind of character who would be, like, you, you know, the stereotypical tough guy type of character. That she'd be, like, this, uh, really hard-ass type of instructor. But instead, she's actually kind of the most uh, reasonable of them. The hard ass is Shadow Sun instead. Um, Coach Brunt's actually pretty cool about things and pretty lenient. She's willing to forgive a lot of what Carmen does and willing to help her along when she needs it. And that's really cool, actually. Because the, 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 the trailer actually kind of misdirected us with her. Um... She does have this soft spot for Carmen, almost a, a motherly-like figure. And Carmen mentioned that she thinks um, uh, Coach Brunt was the one who found her and everything, so maybe she kind of is playing that role. Um, Shadow Sun, meanwhile, is kind of a asshole. It's like, he has a very, very obvious, like, dislike for Carmen, and he's letting that affect him. He's letting that affect his... Uh, his uh, biases. And because of it, during the final exam, he failed Carmen um, because she couldn't find the dollar, even though there wasn't a dollar in there. He cheated. It's so obvious. And I don't know what Carmen's planning on doing right now. I don't know, like, where she's going or why Mind Bomb is following her. I don't know, like, what the deal with that is. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately invested in this at this point. I, I'm really liking the story. I'm liking the characters. It's honestly surprised me in a lot of ways. I really didn't expect it to be this interesting. And again, I mentioned during the reaction, the way they've incorporated the uh, 
where in the world is Carmen Sandiego line into dialogue has actually been pretty well done. It feels natural and doesn't come across as forced, but at the same time, it's still obvious in its execution to where it it, it does feel cheesy, but in the right way. I, I feel like it should feel cheesy like that. I feel like that it comes across as like, yeah, th this is this kind of does have that l a little bit of that cheese to it, but it's intentional and, it, and it's trying to portray that kind of uh, tone with its uh, with its show. Um, we also found out uh, Carmen and how she connected with Player, um, with the phone and everything, and how he hacked into all, all of it. Um, and so they've been kind of friends for a while now, just kind of chatting it up. Um, and it's just like, the biggest question for me at the moment, though, is with, is it Graham or Gray? I, I, I swear that both name, both of those were said at different points. Um, I, I kind of want to look that up just to be sure. Da, 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 da. It's Graham. Okay, I guess it's just the way it's said sometimes that makes it sound like Gray. Um, okay, so it is Graham, and his code name, as we know, is Crackle. Which just makes me think of that one dragon in uh, My Little Pony. Damn it. Um, but either way, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with this, and I, I can't wait to see the second episode um, to get this continuation of this first story. Um, I, I'm still wondering, yeah, how did Graham and Carmen, like, Fall, how, how did they have their falling out? Apparently, Graham is, in the current day, not her friend anymore. And he's actually trying to stop her. He's actually basically hunting her down and trying to get her caught. Why? What's the reason? I'm, I'm legitimately curious about that. So I assume we'll find that out next episode. Um, will he be a recurring character, too? Or is he just mainly for this... Uh, for for these first episodes. I mean, we know the inspector will be. And his assistant. I guess we'll just have to watch and find out. Um, either way, yeah. Like I said, this was a really just fantastic way to kick things off. And it surprised me in how good it was. And I'm hoping that the rest of the series remains this good. And considering what we've had with a lot of these Netflix original cartoons so far, um, they do tend to be pretty damn good. I mean, there are some exceptions, of course, and there are ones that start good and end up falling downhill really hard, uh, Voltron. Um, but still, um, I'm hoping to enjoy what we've got for the future, and I hope you enjoyed this first episode. So tell me your thoughts down in the comments below, and remember, as always, no spoilers. And thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time. And though you've come through many obstacles